Ooh, I'm already liking your costume. You got that Sub Zero look, I can see. Alrighty then, so let's say you ended up going for. I'm assuming you're attempting to do your full crouch down forward four. And now the Brian is spamming one into. What the frick is he doing? I think he's trying to go for his taunt. Why? This early in? Alright. Yep, goes into that. Good job. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That combo was fine. I would have just managed to get in closer. So that way you get the wall. And that way you can then delay the 1 plus 2. I think that would have been better. for Just to get a little bit more damage. But I think you did fine. Smart. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine from right there. The Brian ended up going for spring kick. So you wouldn't have known. Back to 2. Nice. Yeah, you applying the tactics. I see. You're learning from me. Smart. Yeah, you got style too. I'll give you 10 points for points. Mm hmm. Okay, you both got caught each other. Ah, yeah, you're being a little... No, actually, you're not doing nothing wrong here, actually. You made the read. You attempted to sidestep away with your back... What was it? Back four. But he ended up going for a snake edge. It's a little weird, though. This guy has a... Okay, because he's 160 tech and prowess, so he's not actually new. He's just trying out Brian on quick play. I wouldn't got caught there myself. Because once you get up, he has a choice to just do that. Nice catch. Okay, so now that you did this, he's either going to try to attempt to go for spring kick again. Or either attempt to go for a low kick. Now, I need to learn this myself as well because I tend to be very aggressive when I want to be defensive. In this scenario, you either can attempt to try to sidestep to the right. Just in, just in case and see whether or not they're going to go for a spring kick or a low kick or even a mid kick. Yeah, he went for the spring kick. So seeing that he already went for the spring kick, your best bet is to just either get away and try to move around. I believe it's to the right side. That way he'll, he'll end up whiffing the spring kick. If not, if you already know for sure that he is going to be going for the spring kick, then just block the spring kick and go for flash. It's a, it's a guaranteed hit right there. In fact, let me just show it. Mm, you ended up whiffing your grab, so at that point, you should just play a little bit more defensive. Oh, LeBron messed up the combo. Mm, I hate that so much. You did the right... You, had, you made the right read. You made the right read. The issue is that... And I hate this. Up forward 3 has a little bit of high crush. But for whatever reason... Uh, it's not for any reason. I think I know why. Uh, you use up forward three, but you were still slower than him. You, you're still technically standing. If you just, if it, somehow he waited just a little bit more, then the up forward three would have hit him. God damn! What did he do right there? Oh, you're holding down. I see. That's why you got caught. Okay, the Brian doesn't know what he's, what he's doing. He's, he's probably still new with Brian. But then he goes for the unblockable. Well, it's not really an unblockable, but it's basically just like a fuck or, um, guard break. Cool combo from the Brian. Smart choice to side okay. Well, you didn't side okay, I mean, you side rolled to your left. Nice. Hmm, I'm going to assume that you didn't mean to. No, no, no. It, it, sees, it says here that you ended up pressing 1 plus 2, and you went for 1. So he ended up... Okay, I see now. You went for 1, but it didn't come out. It must have messed up up there. A missed input must have come out. Smart. 
yeah, I like that. He was kind of like giving that level of footsie, trying to see what the Brian will do. Smart. I hate that so much, man. Ah, yeah, yeah, man. But the sword trace still went through the leg. But he didn't punish it, so you're lucky there. Nice. He might have clashed, but he still got the combo. Smart. You saw that he might end up going for the spring kick, which I think he probably did. Went for spring kick. I'm pretty sure he did. Nice. Final round. Fight. That's unfortunate. You was gonna test to see whether nice gonna press buttons, but he went for snake edge. Man, you're spamming down one a lot. <laughs> Again, the thing is, snake edges are uh, his snake edge is actually easy to block. But the moment you start like moving around, it's harder to actually block his snake edge. But not everybody has the you know the reaction speed, and even I tend to get hit by the snake edge a lot. Yeah, this Brian is messing up a lot in his combos. Ay, ay, ay. Is this death? It is. Uh, I thought he was gonna win this one. All right, let's go to the back to the replays and see another one of your matches okay backpedaling ah it was a little too late you ended up whiffing the back too wait what happened here that's guaranteed damn nice block but you went for the three I like how you're ducking, but you're not immediately attacking. You're, you're just waiting to see what the other person might do. I need to learn that from you. <laughs> Here, I'm trying to give you advice, but I'm learning something from you now. Nice block. Uh, That's actually, let me see. That should work, yeah, that should work. Ah, you were a little slow. It's a little bit slow. Because I think... Oh no, it's not. Never mind. I, th I thought that while standing three was 13 frames on startup. So what you should have done there was wake up uh, into a four, like wall standing four. That would have hit the Brian. At least now, now I know that. Nice. I right, went for spring kick again. If he went for hatch kick, I think you probably would have been dead there. Nice. And the wall fucked you. Oh my. I need to bleep that out. Ah, oh, I hate that. Round two. Fight. Good. Mm-hmm. Again, you're you're getting a little too antsy to get a hit off of the Brian since he's grounded. Good stuff. Good try. Nice combo. Okay. Ah, uh, you need to get closer. But you got him still. He went for the spring kick once more. I don't know why he's doing that still. For his rank, I would assume he would have learned by now not to spam that. Good try. Ah, uh, you tried to bait him to see if he's going to go for the spring kick again, but he didn't. Oh snap. Oh snap. Yeah, you, you, you're getting too antsy, I can see. Uh-huh. Smart. That, that won't work. You have to knock him down from the Kencho 3 to actually get the up back 1 plus 2. Lucky. You know, the Brian could have actually won the game if he just did the combo, but he instead he went for Heat Smash. Ah, shit, yeah. He didn't respect you. Smart. He went for something and you got him good right there. Smart. Ag again. <laughs> again. 
<laughs> you're, you're, just, you're too aggressive. You need to be a little bit more patient. Just be a little bit more patient. Nice, you got him. Alrighty then, so from what I can summarize from the two matches that I've seen, your playstyle is a lot like mine. Uh, the way how I played when I started getting to the ranks. Though then again, I had more experience than you did because I already played Yoshi Mitsu since second seven. But the way you play was a lot like how I play with Yoshi. And you're incorporating a lot of the things that I've stated in other videos, like using full crush on Ford 4 for keep away. Uh, you're using it a lot to try to catch for a counter hit, which I like. You've also attempted to use back 2-2 two -two during the moments where the opponent were with their attack, which is smart. I like that. You also incorporated back 2-1 really well as well, because a lot of the times players just throw it out, and they're thinking that the, the last is going to land. But in this case, you used it during the moment that you whiffed the 2, the back 2, into the 1 and got the hit off of the Brian. I like that. You're also incorporating a lot of the 3-1 into 4-1 plus 2 a lot, and you're catching him a lot off guard a whole lot. I like that as well. The one thing I will say is that you're not really incorporating a lot of other lows besides trying to go for the full crouch down forward 4. I think trying to incorporate a little bit more of, let's say, down back 3s and or down back 4s will be nice as well. And I will also say that you're a little too aggressive whenever the opponent is grounded. Because I, if not for that, I think you'll do amazingly well in the ranks that you're currently currently in, and trying to get to the higher ranks. I can see you getting to around at least Raijin to Kishin, maybe even to Bushin. Because your playstyle is again a lot like mine, and so I can already see myself in your gameplay. Patience. You gotta be more patient when the opponent is grounded. Because I, I know I would probably play the same way you play, where whenever the opponent's trying to go for a move. Well, then, gra while they're grounded, I attempt to go for forward 1 plus 2 or CD1. But seeing how he's constantly going for a spring kick, I will just stay still and just block the incoming hit and go for flash. Especially if I have no sword stance available, then I can just go into the flash from there and getting a combo right after. But then again, you did try to incorporate 3 1 whenever he was going for a spring kick. The thing is, is that since you don't know when he's going to use it, trying to be, trying to be precognitive when he's about to go for the spring kick is a little bit risky. So I would say using 3-1 all the time because he is using uh, spring kick all the time is not a good idea solely because of the fact that he may just delay the spring kick. So instead of just waiting and see what he may do, either that or just go for 4 one plus 2 is your best bet. So that's about it. I think your overall gameplay is solid. You just need to work on trying to incorporate a few other moves. And besides that, just be a little bit more patient when the opponent is grounded and then you'll be good. So I hope you guys like what you watch. Give this video a like. Subscribe to receive more of my shit. And stay tuned for more.